I needed to do a bench top power supply. So I ordered some rotary switches of Amazon. These are the switches which made me see hell. After installing the switches and trying to select the voltage which is a free 512 I run into some problems a good thing the power supply has a uh, cut off short protection on it each time I turn the knob it would automatically shut out the power supply and it would shut down so then I since I had the switches already I had to try to modify them so that they could work on the power supply so in this video I'll be talking about the rotary switches and what I did to get them to work so if any of you buy this type of rotary switch you would have a good idea of what to do there are some good rotary switches for instance this, this one I looked at it and I can see the spacing on it is pretty far but I'm not sure I won't put my hand in fire because it doesn't have enough positions to show the underbelly of the switch that clearly So I cannot, it looks or it seems to be okay, but cannot be too sure. So let me show you all what I did to get this switch working. Now. This is the switch I bought. Now, if you notice, this here, when turning the switch, these contacts are too close to one another. So it kind of, before it go to the other one, you find this contact and this contact will merge, which is the free volts and the 5 volts will connect together and will shut out the power supply. The first power supply I did, which is this one here, I used a pliers. I used a pliers and I bend put it in between here and bend the con the contact or connector I brought it further apart and I file so when I turn the knob it will float it won't make contact but it will float the second bench top i did which i will be reviewing uh, later 
I tried the same thing but while turning it would work for a while but while turning it would still shut out so what I did with this one now if you notice this hair and that hair I crimped them and then I pull this out now this is the uh, how would I call that anyway this is the connector one side is continuous continuity which one side would be resting on this here and the outer one will be selecting so what I did is I bend this outward I bend this one inward I did it with all of them and I will be filing this portion just the outer portion I'll be filing it down so when this I would call it a brush when this brushes over that when it reach here since it's already here when it reach there to go on to the other one it will float and when it reach the high end it will make contact but when it leave this one here it will be floating when it reach about this in this area where it's bend it will be floating until it reach the high end of this one then it will continue it will float here and make contact there so that means when it reach here it will disconnect from this one which is the the three volt and it will make contact with the five volt it will float again disconnect from the five volt and make contact with the 12 volt this one i leave it blank which means when i reach here the system goes off if you don't do that that means your power supply anytime you turn the knob your power supply will be shutting down let me and when you <clears throat> get everything in order you just put it back put a screwdriver put a screwdriver in here and just bend it or you could use a pliers and just bend here bend there it would lock it back into position now let me try to show you all what I mean this is the I would call it a, the brush when you turn the knob you see it floats there because it cannot get in contact with the other one and it go down but you find the back is still making um, contact it goes up it's floating there until it go further down so you would have to file this to get it working the way you want you, you see when it slip and it sits in between it makes contact with both connectors that will put off 
your power supply which means there will be a short each time so to alleviate that problem you would have to file here bring it as low as possible so when you turn the knob when the brush reach here it will be floating and then you continue it will be floating all the time so that means it disconnect from here then it touch the other one now you will be turning the knob so fast that in a twinkle of an eye it would be switching but if you leave it this way you would have a lot of problems with your supply your power supply or whatever you're trying to to switch if it doesn't have a protection you would lose your supply if you find this video was helpful please like subscribe and click on the bell icon everything i use here i'll put it in the description below thank you